Render and Beyond to a tutorial on how to install V-Ray Standalone for distributed rendering on a Mac. The standalone does not need to be installed on your main computer, but only on the computers where we will distribute the rendering process. We can add up to 10 computers and the standalone needs to be installed on each and every one of these. First of all, let's open the V-Ray for Cinema 4D page and go to the latest updates and installers. Let's go to V-Ray for Cinema 4D 1.9. Go down to V-Ray Standalone and download Get V-Ray Standalone OS X and Standalone One Click. If you have older versions installed, please download the script to remove them before installing the latest version. Before we install the V-Ray standalone, go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and allow apps downloaded from anywhere. Now launch the installer. Don't change the V-Ray destination. Launch V-Ray server and at this point it is working. Every time you will need to use the standalone, you will have to double click on this icon. Other important things to know. If you have a firewall, make sure you authorize the connection. You will need to authorize the connection just the first time. Let's see where we can find the IP address. Go to System Preferences, Network. Under your connection, you will find your IP address. If you leave it on automatic, the number will change every time you start your computer. Therefore, you have to check the number before you insert it in Cinema 4D. Otherwise, you can do another thing. You can insert a fixed IP address, making sure it hasn't been used already by another device which is connected to your network. Now let's open Cinema 4D. Go to Render Settings, V-Ray DR, activate Use Distributed Rendering and Enable Assets. Here you can see slave number one and you can insert the IP address of the computer where we installed the standalone. Thank you for following our tutorial. If you want to stay updated with our tutorials and new releases, subscribe to our newsletter.